the hashtag uh-huh. the hashtag king himself is now on Narc Abuse TV. <laughs> I am honored to have you with you, my friend. Have, have you with me, my friend? My pleasure. Thanks for having me. It's great to be on your show. I really love it. Oh, you're you're so kind. You uh, have uh, been kind enough to pass through the show and and hang out with us many times. Uh, a number of guests, and uh, when I'm done sure. talking to those guests uh, live, uh, they often have mentioned you and some of the kind words that you said and inspiration <laughs> that you gave during those lives. Uh, okay, this was inevitable that you and I were going to be able to sit down and have some time together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I, yeah. I'm looking at the screen over here. Uh, everybody's coming in for you, my friend. Great. Yes. So many, so many names are uh, already, you know, know from um, direct messages from their super duper posts and uh, stories. So many people, you know, who really in- inspire me for for my own posts, so to say. So it's, it's really so, so many nice and I mean, um, yeah, yeah. We got, we got the people. I, I, I really, really admire for what they, what they're doing. It's, it's all t- so friendly. Great, it, uh, a great community of people. People often uh, mention that sure. uh, when they think about the narc abuse the community. And I have to say, some truly upstanding people. Uh, I'm just going to give a little shout yeah. out. Uh, I'm with you on that, Matt. Uh, Maywish is here. Uh, Kathy is here uh, from the Lion and the Narcissist. Yeah. Her book. Uh, she was a great guest on the show. Of course, Maywish, uh, a great guest as well. Yeah. Um, uh, there are so many that have been a part of this platform and uh, in your life. Um, but I have to ask you this. Yeah. Um, why this book, my friend? Why you? <laughs> why this book? And why at this time in human history did you uh, put this book out? <laughs> you, you're changing the planet, my friend. Oh, uh, no, I guess that's a bit too much. <laughs> but thanks. Uh, thanks. I told you I was going to talk much. you up. No. I told you I was going to talk you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, well, I was um, in a, let's say, difficult situation in my relationship. And I was wondering uh, if it's really like um, conversation of problems we, we have. Or, I mean, what's the problem? What's at the core of uh, all this turmoil we were going through? And... Um, yeah, so I um, went to um, um, a therapist, a psychotherapist, and he um, introduced me to the whole um, field of emotional abuse and psychological abuse. And um, this was completely new for me. And um, yeah, so I dived into it. And as we all know, there is no single source on the internet to. Um, find the right words and terms and concepts and so on. So you have like um, dictionaries of psychology, but I mean, I'm no psychologist. I'm a sociologist, but I mean, I know how to work uh, like um, work um, uh, with a scientific approach, but I'm no psychologist. So the, let's say, APA dictionary of psychology, this one goes too far couldn't help me so um all over the internet um all the information was just like spread all over the world and it took me one year to um yeah um get a better picture of it and to uh, understand better and better what really was at the core of um the relationship problem of uh my wife and me and um yeah when it all broke down you know when it all came came to an end finally it was just like um um how to how to say just like some kind of catharsis it all, you know? it all made sense it I, all made I, sense to you then huh what it all made sense. it was just like going it, i was going like wow it took you so long um i mean it it it, it didn't uh um it didn't um, um, uh, turned out for our relationship to 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 overcome all the problems and so on we we had or she had or I have, but um, I understood so many things much much better, and thought that if an- anyone else out there in the world have similar problems, um, they sh- they should they should not um, 
um, uh, it should not take them one year to dive into it. And there has to be uh, at least uh, at one single source, um, yeah, to um, 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 which can uh, where you can look into. Uh, you take just how how would it be if if it if there was a dictionary and you just could open this book and say, right. well, what's a red flag? Right. Anyway, what what are emotional facts? And uh, you don't find these terms right. in the uh, logical dictionary. So. I sat down. It took me about 10 days and wow. the first edition was right to be self published. Yeah. Self published so, in that time frame. Yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. But it was just like, um, it's now or never. And, uh, it helped me really just so much to understand these terms and words and maybe it can help others too. And don't wait for it. Yeah. Put it out now. And so you jump to it. And put it out now. This is an interesting thing because you and I are two males talking about emotional abuse. You went into action yeah. and decided to start a baseline that people could work from and work their way up from yeah. and work their way out from. Mm -hmm. What a great thing to yeah. start somewhere almost on a, I want to say, don't get mad at me, my friend, on a street level. So mm -hmm. people can have something to yeah. work with because everybody can't sit in a Absolutely. four year, eight year, <laughs> a decade mm -hmm. career to start breaking this down. And there's so many voices that are coming at everyone to try to help them understand. It can seem overwhelming mm -hmm. when you're living with someone who's mm -hmm. abusive or emotionally unavailable. You went to work. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't easy, was it? Or was it? Um, um, <laughs> depends. I mean, um, I've, uh, added, um, now a, a trigger warning for the second edition. So if you're, um, if you're having like this rumination about all of these terms, um, you get stuck, you know, it's just like, um, uh, everything just, just, um, all your, if all your thoughts and, and all your, all your, um, all your energy goes into this, um, this sometimes can be too much. Not, not just only if you're the, the author, but maybe if you're reading this and just try to go from A to Z, this maybe could be too much. Even if, if you're looking for, um, um, if you really dive into it, there are so many links between different, uh, um, entries here so that you can really get lost. I hope so. Yeah. And, um, learn really many new terms and many new concepts, but you get lost and you could get like severely emotionally triggered by finding more and more and more, you know, realizing even more than you knew before. And th all of this without too much explanation. And this is like the, 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 um, the difficult part of the book, it really has, it tries to, um, give you concise, um, information, but, um, sometimes it, it's best to, let's say, take one, one of these subjects and, um, really see and feel what it does with you so that you can connect and try to, um, work with it first and talk with people about it. And not just like going through it and be overwhelmed by it. So I'm, I added a trigger warning for the second edition, which will be hopefully out um, by the end of this month. Absolutely perfect. Because the information in itself, and, and I'm going to have to agree with you. I'm, I'm looking over uh, the copy that you sent me ahead of time. And yeah. uh, it can be quite addicting to be going through the book. And mm -hmm. then there are moments. As you mentioned, it can be quite overwhelming because you mm. can go, well, I didn't know this and I didn't know that. And I didn't understand this yeah. as well as I thought I did. And you start to see things in a different way in, in the sense that your eyes become more open to, to certain aspects of the abuse. Uh, so a trigger warning is a great yeah. idea. I'm going to read from the introduction. Uh, from what you what you have here in the introduction of the book. Everybody, please make sure you get a copy. Yeah, okay. If you do not have a copy, uh, make sure you make it a point to uh, get a hold of Matt. 
uh, look for it. Uh, how can they find it? Amazon or other places? Uh, Matt, tell everybody, please, how they yeah. can get a copy. Yes, it's, you know, yeah, thanks. It's uh, exclusively available on, on Amazon. Um, we have got, there's the paperback edition and, um, yeah, of course, the Kindle ebook. Right. Um, in the introduction of the book, uh, for everybody, we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be looking at certain aspects, but by no means, uh, should anyone think that, uh, Matt and I are going to keep talking and ignore what's on the screen. We're going to get to everybody in just a moment. Just bear with us. I'm going to talk about the introduction. You said life is a stage and when the curtain falls upon an act, it is finished and forgotten. The emptiness of such a life is beyond imagination. Ale Alexander Lowen from 1997, 1983. Uh, it says uh, in the introduction of the book, you put this. Dealing with and recovery. Dealing with and recovery from emotional abuse is oftentimes easier when keeping a journal or diary. Mm -hmm. This book helps mm -hmm. to find the right word by offering definitions of terms such as trauma bond and codependency. It helps to di differentiate clearly between personality disorders and styles such as narcissist versus empath and explains concepts and manipulative tactics such as gaslighting. You also highlight that this dictionary is not a workbook, right? To unmask the narcissist. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's for neither a survival guide. But you do highlight that it is an epidemic of narcissism next door to all of us, that this dictionary helps us to be aware of emotional abuse in relationships 